day everyone this is teacher Danny and in this video I will show you how to edit video using Canva and likewise we will unbox the surprise gifts given by the admin of Canva for Filipino teachers Sir Chris by the way he also has YouTube account where you could see a lot of tech tips room designs reactions and a lot more so without further ado let's start Hi, I'm Teacher Danny and welcome to my vlog! The Canva video editor that I'm going to show you works on your desktop and they also have mobile phone application where you can download anytime you want and these two are available in the app stores or in Google Play stores. So let's go straight to our goals for today. You'll see here a lot of hows that I'm going to share. See, there's so many. <laughs> Now to experience Canva, all you have to do is to go to www.canva.com and type in video in the search box. You can find it in the homepage. Alright, let's do it. There, you could see the suggested video sizes for different media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and a lot more. You can select any of these depending on what size you want. One thing to note here is that you can make video from any of the Canva templates and export it as an MP4 to create a video. The first to appear here is the suggested video format, the 1920 by 1080. This format is used in most video platforms like YouTube, Vimeo, etc. And if you select this one, a horizontal timeline will appear at the bottom. Now when you add new images, they still appear on the top of the other, just like how video frames work. Now, the way for it to work is to place pictures or animations on the page and you can add as many pages as you want and they will play one after the other to create the video. Transitions between pages are already available too, so simply choose what's best for your video. Now, how do we add videos like this to Canva? So let's proceed and add our first video. I'll select a blank video, the 1920 by 1080. And from here, you can apply any of these pre-made templates. Now you can add stock footage from the videos tab. And uh, Canva has a huge range of free to use stock videos. Use the search box to find one you want and just click and drag it on the page. You can also resize or crop them anywhere on the page. Now, if you want to add your own videos, click on the upload tab and add in any video you want. If it's a long video, of course you have to wait until it is finished processing and before you can export it on the canvas or the video editing page. Now if you click the play button in the top menu, this will show you the length of your project. So the length of all the pages included here, included all, including all the clips added together, are here in this play button. Now what I'll do is to add in a stock video. Now how to trim? If one video clip is too long, you can trim it by selecting the video, then clicking the scissors button in the upper menu, and this will show you the length of that individual clip. Now once selected, click and drag the handles on the end to adjust the start time and the end time. Now you can click and drag that selection to another part of the video. The time on the left shows the length of your section when you click the handle the time on the bottom corresponding to the relative time in the entire clip now this is useful when you want to cut multiple clips together for example if you want to have one video playing but different text showing up that video and so let's try that one shortly but let us add text for now now to add text, simply click the text tab on the left 
and drag in a style you like and alternatively you could press the keyboard shortcut to generate a text element but here here is the very basic uh, steps simply click on the text button and then select the text style you want here you can edit them manually and you can resize it add different font or change the color you can also add effects if you want for example if we click this lift effect you could see how the text effect would make the message stand out from its background before we add animation let's try to add elements in our output so you can see how each animation would work in order to apply an animation click on the animate button and select this pre-made animations we have so many animations on the list the block fade pan rise tumble and more in the pro version now if you use block animation you could notice its effect on the text only however for the rest of the animations they apply to the elements to all the elements on the page whether they are text stickers graphics that you add to that particular design so every element here will have the same animation per page so let me now show you how to cut videos I have this video and it is this long now if you add text this text would play throughout the whole video just like this one it's quiz time now in order to get different text in the same video you need to cut the video or split it into two so how do we do it simply click on the three dots on the top right hand corner and then you may split it so here's how we do it you can apply one animation to the entire page but if you want to have a different text you need to either add new pages or split the video if you want and you can adjust the length of each page up to 30 seconds for the very plain one unless you have a video on it and the page will automatically change to the length of the video then you can trim that video and make a selection on that video now let's add some background music there are two ways to do it first you can upload your own audio using the uploads tab or second you can select a song from canvas music library either way just drag it into your design to add it and note you can now add different tracks for your project based on the updates from canva the audio will appear in this button on the bottom now once you click it you can adjust the selection or change the volume and you can now trim the audio you will use and it this depends on where you'll place it again just preview it with the play frame holders or you can add image or videos within them 
Now you can recognize them because they have this green and the blue landscape background. Now if you scroll down, they have frames for various devices, just like cell phones, just like that. Then just click and drag them onto the page. Now once added to the page, you can resize them or click and drag them to refine the position. go that's the gist of editing video in canva drop any questions in comments and i'll try my best to answer them now it's time for me to open the surprise boxes i received from canva for filipino teacher admins Chris. and i hope you enjoy the aesthetic editing on this part and don't forget to like subscribe if you have found this video useful and hit the notification bell and uh, i'll see you in the next video Thank you.